It's a long way from this Strathroy driveway to the floor of the XL Energy Center in St. Paul. A long way, yet really only yesterday. It was kind of a moment that, you know, stands still. It's been almost a month now since Nathan Beaulieu heard his name called. The 17th of the night, his by the Montreal Canadiens. Wow, not nearly a distant memory for a young man whose career has been shaped by distance and memories. Try to slow it down as much as possible and, and try to sink in. But you know, when I, when I got back there and I was taking all the pictures, I was just thinking to myself, what just happened? Nathan could have been one of the OHL's very best, perhaps a night, had only dad not taken that gig 1,500 kilometers away. Based on this past year, it all really has worked out, but not even close to being easy on the heart or the mind. As we found out um, in the last few years, hockey isn't perfect. Just two summers back, Nathan nearly turned his on the organization that cast off his father. They only had one season together in St. John. It just didn't seem fair. It was the absolute worst of times, and ironically, the beginning of the best of them. I give a lot of credit to him and what he's done, but you know, he's, we, things happen and it's time to move on. Nathan chose to stay with the dogs and help build upon the foundation laid by his father. A wise choice to hang in there and eventually win it all. <laughs> to endure, it's now the plan for Montreal, not just with his game, but because of his name. Let's just say Beaulieu is French for maybe I should brush up on it. My dad being a French uh, first language is, is something that uh, it, there's no excuses for me why I can't learn it and I might take a class in uh, university next year too to just uh, help me out a bit. I took it upon myself that uh, you know I respect their culture, I respect their language and you know I want to I want to be involved with it a bit. The proactive approach to life as a Montreal Canadian demonstrates maturity from someone who's learned by reacting to adversity and overcoming it. Yes, it could have all worked out much differently, but it didn't, thankfully. I'm still a young kid, 18 years old, and I gotta remember it's, uh, you know, if I wanna have a long career, I can't rush myself. And you know, I'm, I'm gonna go back to St. John this year for sure and, and have a good season there. It's a long way from his Strathroy driveway to St. John, Nathan Bolio's second home, where the cup calls home. A long way and journey made possible by dedication and desire to persevere. I control my destiny. The cornerstones to future success, no matter where the road takes him next.